everyone. Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining me here. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for the beginning crafter. I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and it's a time that we can relax and craft together for about an hour. Uh, today we're continuing on the grow embroidery. So we've been stitching this up all week, and uh, we are on a uh, little house plant number three. It's the house plant embroidery. I was just reading grow there. Um, so this is the embroidery of the month for penguin and fish. Uh, we stitch up the embroidery of the month, the third full week of the month. And that's this week. So I'm hoping we can for sure get this guy done and get this guy as close to finish as we can. So tomorrow on Friday, we are going to be taking off the stick and stitch stabilizer. This is a water soluble stabilizer and you can print your pattern directly to it, which is awesome. So you don't have to trace, you don't have to do anything. You just stick it on like a sticker and uh, uh, it washes off with water when you're done stitching. So you stitch right through it. So I'm hoping tomorrow, Friday, we will finish the entire thing and we will also take off the stabilizer and I'll show you how to press your embroidery as well. So that is the plan. Thank you guys for joining me here tonight. I wanna get stitching. I, I hope we can finish this feller tonight. So I didn't get any new koalas in the mail. I'm not sure, I think the mail's kind of skipping us every once in a while. So I didn't get any mail at the office today. Uh, so maybe tomorrow I'll get like extra koalas. So I'll be sure to show you them uh, tomorrow if I do get any more. Uh, and I'll take photos of them this weekend as well. I'm, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm, it's gonna be a photo weekend. So I am hoping to get some photos taken of all of the koalas that I have so far. So that's the update on the koala fundraiser quilt that we're doing. Uh, let's get stitching. I'm gonna flip you guys around. All right, so I got my pattern up here on my iPad. So this is page three of the pattern. So if you purchased the PDF or the bundle of the pattern, uh, the link up for that is below in this post, but if you've purchased either of that, it will be in your receipt and then just click download now and uh, it'll download. Um, here it is. I, I'm scrolling ahead to the page that has the colors of the floss and uh, what stitches to do. So we are on this guy. Uh, we're, we're pretty far. Here, here we are. We got, uh, we have the, these leaves, uh, the outlines done. We have this little part done. Uh, this is the same color as these spikies. So we did that at the same time. So uh, I'm going to start with these kind of stems. I think I'm going to go like near, near, and then jump over here and then come back down. I think that's how I'm going to map that out. And then we have these dots, which are that lightest color green. Then we'll do some back stitching around, stitching around there. I'm excited to get over here where we're going to do all of these lazy daisies again. So that'll be fun. We are getting there though, you guys. It is getting, getting done. I'm excited. Alrighty. So, uh, these stems. So these stems are the darkest green color and I'm, oh, we did use this already. I was thinking, oh, maybe we didn't use this yet. I don't see, I have like, I have my, all my scraps um, from working on this so far. And usually I try and pick out, um, use up the scraps first, but I'm not seeing any of this dark green. So we must have used up all those scraps already. So I'm going to get a fresh piece. So I'm getting about my 24 inches worth or so. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to separate them again. So I'm just going to kind of dab this. So I'm, I'm doing three strands of floss for my embroidery. Uh, it comes with six strand embroidery floss. So embroidery floss, uh, the six strand kind, the strands should come apart like super duper easily. Then you know it's that six strand embroidery floss because uh, they're meant to, to come apart super easily. Uh, then you have the flexibility of deciding how many strands you want to work with. And that um, the more the strands, the the thicker the line is. And I'm just, I'm doing all of mine with three strands. So I'm splitting this in half. So we got this other half to use later and we will definitely need it. I think uh, we'll definitely run out of thread uh, stitching all of these 
with that piece that I just cut, stitching, stitching all these leaves and the stems. All right, just lining up those edges again. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm gonna try and cruise really quick on this tonight because I really, really, really want to finish this tomorrow. So we got a lot of stitching to get done, but I think we can do it. I think this is, um, I think we'll have great timing on this. So I'm gonna weave in to the backs of these stitches and then I'm gonna jump up to here and we'll start by going down here. Then I'll go up this guy and then I'll probably weave in the back of these stitches and then jump over here and then finish, finish this last feller. I always kind of like mapping it out a bit. Okay. So those weave in the backs of these stitches. So I'm weaving in the backs so I don't have any knots on the back of my embroidery here. It just keeps it clean and not having any knots. And there's nothing for my thread to catch on if I don't have any bumpy knots that that my thread can get caught on. So I like that. I like I like eliminating that possibility. <laughs> All right, so wove it in that three times. I'm gonna clip this excess. It's nice seeing everyone pop in here again. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. The week is zooming by again, isn't it? Oh, but you guys, we are gonna have like high 30s this weekend, so. It's gonna feel like summer, <laughs> which might sound might sound crazy, uh, but when I left left for the office this morning, it was one degree, so um, 39 sounds. Oh, I bet y'all be able to smell spring. I bet you spring will be in the air. I'm excited. Oh, Gretchen, I. I can't watch those type of shows. I don't I just, I can't deal with them. Those dating, dating type shows. Kind of stress me out. <laughs> I like, uh, I like all the different greens in here and they're all just a little subtly different, but I think it just adds a lot of texture having a lot of different greens. Oh dang, Grace, Andy, and uh, snow in North Carolina day. Dang. Crazy. Yeah, we still have a good yeah, at least eight inches of snow on the ground here. And it's just turning into like crystallized ice snow. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I'm hoping with this almost 40 degree weather that we'll be having for the next few days that we'll get some melty snow. That'll be awesome. It'll be so refreshing. <laughs> All right, I, I'm stitching sideways here like this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not holding the piece straight like this. And that's because I do like having the back of my hand, my left hand um, on the back of the, um, embroidery here. I like feeling where the needle comes out. I like feeling the floss come through. Um, you know, I just like knowing where the floss is at all times. So I have my hand there and I, my reach is just easier from, from this side now, now that we've worked, worked over here. So I, I just keep rotating it. Um, so it's just easiest for me, for me to work. So it might be a bit upside down and all around today. Oh, you'd have heavy frost by you. Yikes. Man, I, I, I just keep hearing people saying like, oh, I picked dandel or um, not dandelions, um, daffodils from the yard already. And I'm like, oh my gosh, daffodils already. That sounds amazing. That's the best. When all those little flowers start popping up. Oh, Marion, you easily have a, a foot of snow there in Ottawa. I believe it. <laughs> Oh, New York, you just had one snow, snowstorm and then it all washed away. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we've actually had a pretty mild, I think, a mild, mild winter. We've had a couple storms, you know, big heavy snows, but last year, holy cow, was it different. We had like 
feet and feet of snow and huge, huge, huge snowstorms. I suppose this, I suppose the season isn't over yet, so I shouldn't shouldn't jinx us, I suppose. But it's been, I mean, you know, it's been cold, but still, I, I feel like it's been pretty mild um, than what it's been in the past few years, so can't complain. Can't complain too much, and it's just been sunny. And I'm telling you, you guys, my hat with the fur going all the way down the sides, like, oh gosh, I forget what type of hat that's called, but it's totally fur. I think it's like fake fur, but still. And uh, it's fuzzy. My fuzzy hat, uh, it's totally um, fur on the inside, and then like it has those cheek things that come down and connect underneath your chin. And that all has the fur on too. I'm telling you, my winters, and I'm super dead serious about this, they have changed since I got that hat. I do not get that spine-breaking cold anymore, or I haven't in, in, in years since I got that hat. It really has totally 100% changed, uh, changed my winters. I'm not kidding. So if you, like, struggle with mega cold in winter, I mean, I'm telling you, those hats with the big ol' ear flaps down to underneath the chin, it's, it's, it's a good deal. I mean, I look crazy. Oh, Catherine, you got one like that and it's just wonderful. I mean, I'm the weird person, you know, when it's almost sort of nice, I'm still wearing it and, um, uh, you know, going into the post office with, with my, like, full crazy hat on, but I don't care. I'm the smart one out of all those people for sure <laughs> with that hat. <laughs> it's perfect. But literally, <laughs> literally has changed how I feel about winter. It's those side, it's those side cheekies. That's what, what, uh, men who wear or like, who grow like huge beards that must feel like that. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how insulating a beard is, but really made a difference. <laughs> oh yeah, cold feet. That's that's not fun in winter. All right, a couple more stitches here. Terry, you have a hat like that too. I love it so much. All right, two more stitches, and we'll be done with this guy. And I really, I think I'm going to start, when I do the this over here, I don't, I think I'm going to start a new piece of thread, because there's just, there's barely any left here. Not enough to, like, make a huge difference. I'll keep it around in case I have, like, short, like, by two stitches, I might have enough thread for that, but um, I'm not going to use it to start out with. But there we go. That was quick, getting those little little stemmy stems done. It's the same color as the outside of, of the aloe here. All right. Weave in that. It's pretty from the back too. Ah, so, um, oh my gosh, it's going to be an M month already. It's for sure spring then. Um, I was going to say March's embroidery of the month is coming up real soon here. February's going to be done. That's crazy. Man, once it's March, I mean, you're well into the year already. Boop. All right. Um, now what? I'm going real quick today here. All right. Oh, now, now you have a rain, Nolene. All right. Um, let's do these dots, these French knots. So these are that light colored green. Let me see what I got in scraps for that. And this isn't going to get me too far with those French knots. I think I have another piece here. It doesn't look like you have a map, Oh, funny. <laughs> oh, man. That iPad, that's creepy sometimes, starting to talk to me, wanting me to look up Scrabble, apparently. All that tech, it's always listening. It's a little scary. We're a little scared of that. All right, I'm going to snip this end.
Okay, there, now we have a nice clean end. I have a nice long piece here, so I should be able to get all of these stitches out of it. Okay, so, uh, how should we map this out? I think I'm going to weave into right here and then go boop, 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 meow, meow. Yep, that, that seems like a good path. Okay, so I'm going to start at this one. Yeah, I don't want to say it's not it's not the Alexa, it's the Apple lady's name. <laughs> I don't want to say it out out loud because I don't want it to start talking to me again. But apparently, that's all activated. I I should just turn it off. That that stuff freaks me out. But yeah, she just started talking to me. All right, let's do those French knots. I'm going to cruise through these quickly as well. We went all over French knots um, on Tuesday, I believe, so you can check out Tuesday's video. I talk about the, the three things you might be doing wrong with, with French knots. Oh, this is pretty. So this, is, this has all three of the greens in it, this one. This plant. That's fun. A lot of, a lot of texture. Alright. I'm like super speed stitching today, so if you're like, oh my god. I mean, there's people who stitch way, way, way faster than me, I'm sure. I'm kind of doing a slow method of stitching. Um, but if you are not stitching this fast, don't feel bad at all. I, I really am on purpose trying to go pretty quick so I can get through this so we can finish it up tomorrow. And then we start that orophil block. Uh, next week. So that will be, um, we'll be thread painting. We'll be doing applique, some raw edge applique, and then thread painting on top of it. So that'll be interesting. I've never done that before. <laughs> some of you guys have been posting uh, your thread painting that you've done in, in um, the Penguin and Fish Crafters group, and that's so nice to see. So you'll have to, you'll have to help us along um, next week since I have not done it before. It seems pretty similar to free motion quilting, which I'm still, you know, actively learning. Um, but I think uh, it's gonna be fun. It'll be a good, it'll be good learning. And you know what, that's what those block of the months are for, to, to um, introduce you to to techniques you might not have done before or might need a little practice in or something. I'm just going underneath these stitches so I don't have to make like a big leap to my next to my next um, French knots so I don't have a big like loop there. Exactly, Leslie Ann, that's 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 exactly how I, I feel that I'm happy I finally have a reason to make myself do it. That's exactly my thoughts with it. Oh, Sylvia, your cousin's showing you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm excited. I'll have to, I have this amazing, amazing book by this artist that I'm just in total love with, um, but she does these kind of thread painted sculptures. So she does thread painting, like what we're going to be doing next week. But instead of doing it on fabric, she actually does it on like a material like this, the, the stick and stitch. So she does this thread painting onto water soluble stuff. So when she's done, so she does like leaves and coral and all that. 
And then she takes the water off and then she's just left with the stitching. And then she, I don't know, starches it and frames it into these shapes. And they're like these beautiful, like, leaves. It's like they look like, like these leaf skeletons and stuff. It's just amazing. So I, I bought her book when it came out. Um, it's not the designer who made the block of the month, but I'll show you it anyway, because it, it has to do with, um, thread painting. And I, I wanted to, this will be like an introduce an introduction. The Orville block will be an introduction to the, um, thread painting. And then maybe, maybe we'll have to step it up and try and do something like this artist that I like in the book. I'll, I'll, um, I'll bring it out for you guys next week. I've been sitting on it here and I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so with that, oh, I should have left the um, needle on. I think we have maybe just enough left of this thread to do the, his little dish there. So I, I think I'm actually just going to go and do that right away. Um, I'm going to do the away knot again just because there's no stitches in this area to weave into. You like this plant best so far? I, I think I really like that guy too. I think I might like him because I don't actually have that plant. I was going to go around and take um, photos of my house plants for you guys, so I'll have to, I'll have to do that yet. I have all these other guys or, or versions. They're not as happy as these guys. They're not happy at all, really. <laughs> Maybe they're happy. I don't know. But they, they could use some love. And by that, I mean, they could use some summer sunshine. <laughs> um, but uh, I'd like to hope that maybe they'll be as happy as these guys. But yeah, I don't, I don't have a big leafy dude like, um, like this. But the other three I have versions of. I should get some, something cute to put them all in, though. Don, you'd love to see that book. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, yeah, I'll wait till Monday. So on Monday, uh, I'll bring it out and, um, we can look at like what thread painting, like a different way that thread painting can get to, um, but the person, um, I forget who the designer's name is, but I, I will look it up, but it will, uh, her work is just freaking incredible too. So definitely uh, when you go to the Orphil page, that link, I think I put, put the link here to the, to the block, check out uh, the designer's work. It's pretty dang amazing, the thread painting and stuff. All right, there we are. Got the little bowl done. So I think that is it for this color too, which is great. Um, I like, I like that we're getting like a little touch on the next one that I feel like Ooh, I feel like I'm cruising along here. All right, let's weave back and forth again. And I did that away knot, so I'll have to weave in that side as well. This guy, this guy needed a little plate underneath him to collect the water. His ceramic cup must have had a one of those drainage holes in the bottom. All right, I'm gonna just snip this off from this side. There we go. Okay. Weave in here. Probably a little quicker to just tie a knot, but I, like I said, I just like my no knots on the back. It's so clean then. All right, moving on. Oh, and then we got that little knot there that he's done with. Okay, let's get back to this guy. Uh, let's do the outline of that, and that is with this bright blue. Oh, we haven't used this yet. Actually, I think this is only used on on, um, we got a piece cut already, but it's only used right there on the 
outside of this this uh, pot. That's the word. Oop, there we go. Getting it stuck. Last thread. That should be plenty. I would think. I think this looks like I cut it a little shorter, this, but uh, I think we'll make it around that little pot. Oh, definitely cruising the day. All right, I'm feeling a, a lot more confident about us uh, getting this done tomorrow. I just checked the time and we got a good half hour that we can work on this yet too. So <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm kind of speed going through this today. Let's, let's weave into this one. So I really wanna show you how to take this off tomorrow. So I'll have to get my bowls of water out here again. <laughs> It'll be fun. It's always the best part because then you can see see your final final piece. Oh, Leslie, you're sewing on a binding. That's always the best feeling. I love that step. That's one of those love or hate steps, sewing on a, a quilt binding. I love it because it's the last little bit and it, it's usually, um, it's usually, if you're doing it by hand, it's that nice hand work feeling. I, I just really like that a lot. Oh, you like it too. That's, that's fun. Yep, that's a love or hate it. I like it. I think, you know, I mean, that's oftentimes the only time during a quilt that you can just sit on the couch and do a little hand stitching. I just really like that part of it. Ah, Sylvia's sewing on a binding too. Binding buddies. All right, I'm gonna rotate again. It's more comfortable. My hand can reach a little bit better over here. Oh, wow, Jennifer. That's awfully nice. It's a special last touch. That's that's a good way of thinking about a binding. I agree. Ah, there's always that label though. See, that's the thing. That's what gets me. I think that's why I don't like doing labels as much. I mean, I like when they're done, but I'm always thinking like, oh, I'm doing the binding. It's the last part. And then I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't put a label on this thing yet. So I'm always, I always think I'm done and then, and that label always pops up. I should just have a pile of labels. I don't know. I don't know how that would work, but a pile of labels laying around all ready to go. Glue it on or something. <laughs> oh, you're doing this on a tea towel. So you guys, I am, I'm hoping to get more tea towels in the shop and I want to do more of these embroidery of the month on tea towels. Uh, so I'm working on, working on that. I have to order, order a bunch more. Ooh, you're snipping a ray quilt. Oh, it's taking forever. <laughs> uh, I'm rooting for you, Teresa. Yeah, there's just some steps that you're like, ah, oh, dang, forgot this was a thing, this step, and it's just, Taking ages and ages. Honestly, that's how I'm feeling about the granny square quilt right now. I'm still cutting and uh, we're gonna have more days of cutting. I'm really, really hoping I can get sewing on that this week. Um, I mean, this, this, um, this next week that we'll be working on it, the first week of the month, because uh, I'm itching to make those granny square blocks. Still stuck cutting it. But I have high hopes that once it's all cut out, we're just gonna speed through all of those, um, all of those uh, granny square blocks. At least, you know, if we don't speed through it, we'll at least be sewing. So that'll be nice. Ooh, 
it. I think I'll get two more out of here. I could probably do one big long stitch, but maybe two. All right, that is literally it for that for that bright blue. It's just for that outline of that feller. Okay, so let's do his face, and then we'll move on to this last plant, the little jade plant. Get that guy moving. We may have to finish finish the jade plant um, tomorrow. So hopefully we get pretty far in it tonight, but otherwise tomorrow we'll finish that up. We'll stitch this grow text and we'll still, um, I'll just stay on until we get it done. I, I, I hope we can do it within our normal time. Oh, Darlene, you made nine granny square blocks already and they're so much fun. Oh, that is so good to hear. I haven't made one yet, so I'm, that's, that's so good to hear. Oh, and Don, you just got all your fabric for the granny. Cool today, that's awesome. So you're gonna be in the cutting zone soon. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Oh, there's no French knots in this one. He's got his smiley, smiley, content, closed eyes. I am just super duper 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 excited for this granny squirt quilt. We've been wanting to make it for ages and just never fitted into our time and, and now now um now with this um you know how we're doing the uh project per week finally finally i'm able to work on that so i'm happy about that So I stitch it in this side. Sometimes when I weave in the ends, you know, it's reversed on the back. So sometimes I'm, I was thinking I was weaving it into this side, but nope. So I guess I'm just starting over here. Oh, Yolanda, you have all your fabrics too and just need to get cutting. Well, I will be still cutting for at least a couple days um, on, that, on that yet, but gosh, I hope I can get sewing. Man, it'd be awesome if we could actually finish one of the blocks um, uh, during the first week of March, but I, I highly suspect that I won't. There's a lot of, I don't think I've cross cut hardly anything, so I have all of the cross cutting to do. Ugh, that's a lot. We'll get there. We will get there. But like I said, once all the sewing's done, it's gonna go super fast to sew, I think. Or when all the cutting's done, I mean. Oh, you forgot the last guy's face. <laughs> He'll just be looking the other way. Oops. Got caught on the top there. I haven't done that in a while. All right, so three three stitches here. Okay, we are moving on to the last little big jade plant. All right, there he is. I like that guy. All right, let's flip him around. Weave in the ends. You've been cutting out pieces for a quilt for two weeks. Yep. Jana, that's why sometimes with quilts I just cut what I need and then jump in and then cut more later. But I'm trying to I'm trying to do the thing where I follow the instructions <laughs> and and uh, cut it all up front. Uh, but man, it's it's hard. I I just want to get sewing. All right, let's do. Um, 
Let's do this. So, all right, let's start with the jade. So I'm gonna just grab, this is left over from, from the stems, I think. Oh no, this is that second piece that we cut out. So, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna do all of these leaves first because they're all gonna kind of meet in the middle of, it's, they're gonna all meet on these stems. And then I'll stitch the stems second because that will cover up like all of the places that they, that they uh, like meet the stem. So I think it's just gonna look nice and clean. So yeah, we'll do, the, we'll do the leaves first. So I think, I don't know, we'll start here, go to this guy, jump up and I don't know, just keep working my way around, I suppose. Okay. Uh, let's weave into those stitches I have already. The bonus of having having those ready. Kind of a lot of stuff stitched into these already, but that's okay. Last little bit. Yeah, nothing seems wrong on my end right now. So, um, well, Darlene can't hear me, but uh, I'll just back out and come back in, see if it works. Okay, let's do it. So now I'm just I'm just doing those single chain stitches exactly how I did these up here or like the lazy daisies. Um, so I'm gonna come up at that point. There we are. And you can actually let's do it the way where I just I don't loop it around. I just stab and then come up. But now I have to loop loop that part around. And now I can pull through. There we go. So I'm going to leave it lazy. Don't pull it too tight because you do want that kind of teardrop shape. And then tacking it down. I'm going to do the other side here. You know what? It's going to be a lot of working upside down today because I'm really close. My hand is really close here. So all right, let's, I think I like the looping it around like this. So I'm making, with my thread, I'm making the shape of that teardrop before putting my needle back in. And then I'm coming up within that teardrop loop. There we go. Next two. Oh, these look so cute. Actually, you know what? I could, instead of doing all the lazy daisies first, I could do this and then I could stitch stitch this line. I think we'll do that. We'll just finish finish this one stem at a time. I should stitch my initials when I end. <laughs> I could. Oh, weird, Darlene. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's working again. All right, let's do it here. Oh, Robin, that's so neat. What a great find. All right, so I'm going to do this last guy here, and then then I think I will just do this stem right away. Might as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, do back stitches down the stem right away. So these back stitches are going to cover up like where they meet, where they butt up against each other on that, on the plant. And maybe you like it, oops, sorry. Maybe you guys like it better the other way. Maybe you like the leaves sitting more on top versus, versus the stem kind of covering it up. 
Um, so in that case, feel free to um, do the stem first and then the leaves. All right, last little stitch. And that stitch brought me up a little bit higher, so I'm just going to jump, and I think we're going to do, do these leaves. Let's see. I'll do these two. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't quite know how I'm going to plan this out yet, but let's just start stitching. I feel like I'm going to run out of this floss, too. So um, the... This green, or these um, lazy daisy stitches, these um, single chain stitches, they do, they do take up quite a bit of floss. So even though it doesn't look like we're doing much here, I am going to need more more floss. Oh, Cora, you you find that wrestling with the quilt and sewing machine that. Um, Embroidery is so much more relaxing. You know what? I, I I on purpose when I'm working on a quilt like um, like having a little embroidery project going as well. So that's kind of why I like this week. I like this week where we we switch it up and we do we do an embroidery. Because it's a quick win. For one, I mean they're fast. Like we can get it, we we can get this whole thing done in a week, and then it's it's done, you know? I mean, I suppose we didn't make it into anything really, but still, it's a finished embroidery. So it's like a breather on on big projects. This is weird. I'm I'm going about this super weird, and I'm gonna run out of floss, I think, before I get over here. So I I did not map my plan here very well, but <laughs> usually I'll go side by, do both the ones that are side by side, but oh well, doing it this way now. Feels funny, feels funny to me. All right, I have barely enough thread. I think we have enough thread to maybe do one more. Oops. And I just, oh, it's so dry here, you guys, that my, my fingers, like the skin on my fingers, are catching the thread and pulling the thread apart. Ah, I put lotion on my hands all day today, too. It's crazy. Oh, this, I think this is going to be my last one here. be able to get this guy over here. Yeah, we're going to do this guy too. Uh, get in there. All right, yeah, now I'm going to weave in the ends for sure. Well, that's a cute little leaf crossing over in front of the other guy. Here, but that's not gonna get me far enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna just grab fresh here. So grab another. I'm gonna still grab my 24 inches or so. This is deceiving. Like I think there's actually more to do. I think it's gonna take up a lot of a lot of thread. Oh, I haven't done that in a while. That um, Vaseline and the gloves. It's just literally today. Like I've I've been kind of okay. Um, you know what? I think I maybe just did the, the work I was doing today. I was doing a lot of stuff with cardboard boxes and stuff. So I think maybe that just zapped, zapped all the moisture um, today. That must be it. Because it was really just today that I was having, having like needing all the lotion. 
So yeah, I should do that tonight and see see how it is tomorrow. Alright, ready to go. Alright, now let's map this out a little bit. Okay, we have this little stem here to do. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna do this little side stem. Then we'll do this lazy daisy, this little single chain stitch. And then we'll do the rest of the stem. And then we'll do all these stitches and then to come back down. There, that's a, that's a good sounding map. I like it. All right, so right here is where we're starting. Where did that go? I got confused. All right, it's, oh, this one. All right. A little more difficult to weave in the backs of those lazy daisy stitches. I'm just gonna try and grab whatever I can. Yeah, cardboard and paper will really dry out your hands. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Now that I think about it, like, oh yeah, I was dealing with a lot of cardboard today. That's gotta be it. I was sending more kits to Target, so um, that's what I was working on today. So if you're at Target, make sure to check in the um, in the uh, like the stationery or the school supplies area. That's that's where where they are. The art like the art kits and stationery and not so much stationery now. The the school supplies. All that used to be together, but now. Now the school supplies are in a different area. All right, two more stitches on this little side stem. What color is the grow on the dashes? So the dashes are that lighter blue color. Oh, that's how it's been by me too. Like I'll get shocked every time I do the light switch and stuff. Oh, I hate that so much. Yep, I'm doing the leaf now and then I'm gonna come down on, on this stem. Because this stitch gets me right at the top of this stem area. Still just rotating the hoop around where it feels comfortable in my in my hand. I think we might finish this guy tonight. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll finish the leaves at least, though. As long as we have this, these leaves done, um, we should be able to get the rest of that done and take off the the floss or the uh, the stick and stitch stabilizer tomorrow. I'm gonna try and get as far on this guy as I can though. All right. Oh, you think this guy is your favorite? I, I like this guy. We always kind of had jades around. Jades and aloe. So the jade and the aloe, we, we've had a lot of. I do have a cactus now like almost just like this guy, but he's, he's a new, he's a new friend. <laughs> Every time you turn on the TV, you get shocked too. Oh, isn't it? It's just the worst. That's definitely this time of year though. And then it just gets so humid in the summer too. We don't have that just nice time. Oh, you have days like that too in Australia. You're just getting zapped by anything, everything. <laughs> I remember um, we were, I don't know, at a cabin or something when we were younger with friends and it was so dry. I mean, you can see 
just, we thought it was the coolest thing ever, but you could see in our bedroom, like when we were little kids, all the sparks, like the static electricity sparks, like from the blankets and stuff, you could just see them and it's crazy. You wouldn't think you could actually see, you know, light emitting from, from static shocks, but interesting. All right, two more of these little guys, and then stem, and then we're done. Oh, wait, no, we're not done with this green color. We need the green for the word, uh, this grow is in that same color. I don't think I have enough on this, um, enough floss left that I'll be, that I'll have any for the grow. Actually, I'm gonna have barely enough for, for these plants. Oh, the, darling, that's a good idea. Go around and miss the rooms. I We have um, some, those like uh, diffusers in some of the rooms, but I just gotta get them running. Um, I, I'm not great at just keeping them full of water, so that's, that's what we need to do. Those little humidifiers. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have just enough thread for, for this. See, it's deceiving, all these little uh, lazy daisies, really good, or the single chain stitches, I mean, they all take up a lot of thread. Oh my gosh, I've never done that, Bonnie. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna do that next time, though. Oh, that's funny, Nolene. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just, I, I just remember the first time that I noticed that when I was little. I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. All right, last little jade stitch. All right, I like this little jade. He's cute. All right, let's weave in the ends. Ooh, he's kind of fun from the back, too. That's pretty. Ooh, we got a little fuzzle in here. Let's get that. Weave in those ends. Okay. Oh yeah, that's not that's not enough to do much with this thread. Okay. So where are we at now? All right. I think we can get. I think we can get this little pot done in five minutes. Let's give it a try. I already have uh, some thread split, it looks like. So it is red, his little his little pot there. Ah, uh, Catherine, that's what my hair feels right now. Like it's all standing up sideways just a bit from, from static. I just kind of randomly picked a leaf just now to weave in the back, so. The real reasoning for picking this one, just my hand went to this one right away. Oh, Leslie, that's cool. Leslie says that the more I'm embroidering this, the more she likes it that it's growing on her. That's fun. Little pop of red for this jade plant. Inside it. Okay, going around the top. Oh, he's real little. It'll be like three stitches on, on each side. Oh yeah, this red looks good with, with him. Yep, we'll do three stitches, I think, on each side. Unfortunately, I have to be off right at 9.30 tonight, so I don't think I'll get his eyeballs and mouth done, but um, we'll do his we'll do his face right away on uh, uh, tomorrow, Friday, and then get this grow done. 
that shouldn't take too long. Let's say it takes a half hour, then we'll still have a half hour to um, do the, take the stick and stitch off. That should work. I think we can do it. This red is so bright. I like it. And get in there. I think I'm stitching through all that thread that we've woven back and forth. Yeah, we got kind of a mass of thread going here, which is totally fine. I just, I'm stitching through it right now. I can feel it. Last little stitchy. All right, so I'm gonna weave in those ends and ah, oh, it's actually I like it from the back. <laughs> uh, this this particular plant I like from the back. It turned into like a ferny sort of plant. Ooh, ferns! That would those would be fun to embroider. All right, tons of red left. Okay, so I think that's what we will do for tonight here. Uh, gosh, we're almost done, look at them. Happy family there. All right, yeah, so we'll get his little face in quick. We'll get that grow in quick. And yeah, we'll be taking off this sticker tomorrow uh, with with water. So I'm, I'm excited excited for this. All right, guys, I'm going to flip you around. We'll call it an evening here. There, hello again, everyone. All right, let's uh, show you what this is looking like. It's always nice to see it next to a human so you can see, see the size. But there we are. There's that guy. And uh, I really like how he turned out. I think those leaves are these are fun. So, yeah, we'll get that grow. And, it, it, you know, you wouldn't have to do the grow either. Like, it's cute. You could just do the little plants if you wanted. You could actually just pick out different plants that you might want as well. So, um, you know, it's totally up to you how you want to use these. But yeah, so we'll finish this tomorrow. We will take the stick and stitch off and press it uh, so you can see that process. Uh, we'll get that all done tomorrow. I'm confident we can do that. So awesome, you guys. Thank you again for joining me here. I will get this up on YouTube right now at Penguin and Fish Movies. That's where all of my replays are. Uh, so if you are working on any of the projects we're working on, uh, be sure to check there. They're all grouped by project as well. So thank you guys again, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Good night.